statement of computation of ratios first column serial number second column ratio third column formula next column calculation and last column answer serial number ratio formula calculation and the answer first one a serial number a current ratio is the first requirement formula for the current ratio current asset divided by current liability here what and all form part of current asset cash, cash receivables stock prepaid expenses so 1 lakh plus 125 lakhs plus 128 lakhs plus 1 lakh marriage totally 255 lakhs is the current asset divided by current liability what and all consist of current liability here yeah? bank od creditors provision for taxation proposed dividend 38 lakhs plus 26 lakhs plus 9 lakhs plus 15 lakhs is equal to 88 lakhs so 280 255 lakhs divided by 88 lakhs is equal to current ratio what is the answer 2.89 is to 1 then quick ratio current asset minus stock minus prepaid expenses current asset minus stock minus prepaid expenses <laughs> divided by current liability minus bank od current liability minus bank od current assets 255 minus 2 288 agana yeah 288 288 or 255 current assets 255 255 255 yeah 255 minus stock 128 minus prepaid expenses 1 divided by current liability 88 minus how much 38 is equal to how much can a quick ratio 2.52 is to 1 next for the next one debt to equity ratio long term debt divided by equity what about the long term debt 100 lakhs divided by equity 355 plus 7 lakhs what is the answer ka naam 0.276 okay 0.28 times proprietary ratio proprietary fund divided by total assets total assets proprietary fund 355 plus 7 total asset is equal to how much 550 550 total liability da total asset is how much 550 very good 550 okay manasa into 100 you have to express in terms of percentage proprietary ratio 65.8 percentage you are all being or not very good very good very good next 
Networking Capital, small point out. Networking Capital, current asset minus current liability is equal to working capital. You already told the same option, same option. Same option, very good, very good. 255 minus EITH. Okay. You're finished, very good. 167 max. 7. Stock turnover ratio based on sales. The sales is equal to 1500 lakhs. In general, inventory turnover ratio formula is cost of goods sold by average stock. Here, based on sales, they are therefore sales sold by average stock. Sales given in this question 1500. Stock, if there is no opening stock, closing stock itself, average stock 128. 1500 divided by 128 is equal to how many times? Huh? 11.7 times. Very good. Data's velocity. Credit sale credit sale by average data's. If there is no cash sale info, we have to assume all the sales are made under credit. So credit sales 1500 divided by average data 125. So, 1500 divided by 125 is equal to 12, 12 times. 12 times something about what? One month. Am I right? Yeah. Credit toss velocity if purchase rupees 1050 lakhs. Credit toss velocity, credit purchase by average credit toss. You have to assume all the purchase went in the credit. Therefore, 1050 by credit of 26 is equal to 40.38 times. Similar problem also we did, right? Yeah, good. Is you only know?